Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are doing part two of ranking all my influencer palettes. If you guys have not seen part one, I kind of broke it down by influencer and or category. I rated all the palettes from influencers by like all Jeffree Star palettes in one, Manny Mue in one, Laura Lee in one. And then in today's video, I'll be ranking the top palette from each of those influencers along with the influencers only have like one palette release, for example, like James Charles. So we're gonna be battling all the influencer palettes that I have, hopefully that makes sense. And yeah, it's day 20 of our Vlogmas, so let's get started. <laughs> I just like talked a lot in the last video, so I'm a little, I'm a little winded, but um, I'm excited to do today's video because I really want to narrow it down between each influencer. Now, I, the reason why I broke it up the way I did, and I explained it in yesterday's video, is because it was hard to take like 11 of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes and pick out the best one when I like each one for different reasons. So I thought it was easier to just rank it by influencer and then narrow it down to the top one and then rank it against other influencers. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, there is one palette that I'm currently missing and I don't own every single influencer palette out there. So if I am missing any, I do apologize. And just remember this video is all in good fun. It's just me rating my favorite to my least favorite or my least favorite to my favorite. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and start off with number 22. And it is the Breckman Rock X Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. Now, I currently do not have this eyeshadow palette on me. I bought it, I swatched it, and then it just like disappeared. I don't know where it went. Uh, I remember not being a fan of it. I remember thought I thought the shadows were very patchy and just hated the shimmer that were in there. And like one of the press glitters. And I bought it in October when I got my hair done. And for some reason, I don't know where it is. That and my shampoo that I bought, it's just somehow just disappeared. I don't know. The universe was like, you know what, bitch, you ain't gonna like this. We're just gonna take it from you. But I haven't found it ever since, but I do remember not liking it at all. So I can't talk too much about it because I don't have it to hold at the moment, but I do remember it wasn't my favorite. And I love Bretman Rock. He's so freaking hilarious too. And I just wanted to be so much more. And I'm really sad because I feel like he just doesn't do makeup anymore. He's all about like the mukbangs or the mukbangs, whatever you want to call it. And just doing like lifestyle videos. He really doesn't do anything with makeup anymore. And that sucks. I freaking love his shit, so come back into makeup. <laughs> also what's not going to be featured in today's video is Nikita Dragon. I don't have anything from her brand, so we're just not going to talk about her. Coming in at number 20, we do have the Kim She Chic Two Queens in One Desert eyeshadow palette. I had such high hopes for this eyeshadow palette. It is so freaking pretty. And I really do love the Kim Chi Chic brand. It, I have the matte setting spray that I use every single day, the uh, matte set, the matte setting powder. Oh my God, the setting powder is freaking everything, especially if you're really oily like myself, that setting powder is a holy grail. Their, their eyeshadow palettes, it's a whole different story. So here we have this palette right here. Now this is this is a collaboration between two influencers and it is really, really pretty. It does have that mad Max feeling. Um, I know they're trying to emulate that, but it's a very gorgeous palette. I do love the greens and the, and the yellows. It's supposed to be like a desert thing, but when I played with this palette, the formula just wasn't there. I struggled hardcore with the formula. I could not get a really pretty look. It was very patchy. It was very dull. It just was not pretty in the slightest. And I wanted to throw away this palette. My wonderful friend, Mike, me, Mikey, sent me three other palettes from the brand to try out. And they weren't horrible, but the brand for the palettes are just not my favorite. I don't know what it is about the formulas. I just really, really struggle with the formulas when it comes to the Kimchi Chic brand. But their setting powder is like, a holy grail of mine. So I don't really know what's going on, but I had a lot of high hopes for this palette and it was thoroughly a letdown. And uh, yeah, one that I would definitely say if you guys ever got your hands on this, you can just pass on it. That was number 21. I think I might've said 20, but that was number 21. So coming in at number 20, we do have the e.l.f. collaboration with Jay Kessa. Now this is such a cool palette. Like it was such a cool concept. So the way she did it is that when you open it up, it was just a plain white palette. And then you have little stickers that you can put all over here. Stickers like she has her two dogs and she has like her favorite stuff in here that you can really like mix and match and create your own palette, which I thought was really, really cool. The shadows on the inside look like it'd be my cup of tea. Like, look, I still have the stickers. Look, it'd be my cup of tea because it's a rainbow palette and you guys know how much I love my colors, but I really struggled to create a look at this palette. Like this shade right here, Tosuki, 
was absolutely horrible. I struggled with this. You guys can see how, how hard I had dug into this palette to try to play with it. Um, the yellow got stained from the shade Tink and it was just a huge, huge mess overall. I really hated my eye look. I was really down upon myself with creating this look and though I love the concept and design, I don't know if it was the elf shadows, it was my skills. I don't know, but I just know I really, really struggled with this palette to get it to work. And I know that elf, it's a good brand. It doesn't have the best eyeshadow formula, but this one was just, this was atrocious. So you guys see like that staining, like look at that staining, so bad. So bad, such a cool concept, but it just failed miserably for me. Coming in at number 19, we do have the Patrick Star One Size Eyeshadow Palette. Now, when you think of Patrick Star, you think of big, bold, vibrant, like you think of like a queen, and then you get this, and you're like, the fuck is this? Like, look at this. First off, I at first thought there was something wrong with my palette, and I was like, oh my God, like, the hell happened here and then I actually realized oh no it's the way that he designed the palette which I actually respect because if anybody has nails it, 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 I, I understand how hard it is if it's like a one if it's like a one unit carton it's really hard to open if it has nails but he had the little extra little lip right here so if you did have a nail you could just take it and go like that it makes it so easy so I understood the concept design behind that but the coloring is just very boring very very bland and then on the inside it's just a very boring, bland eyeshadow palette. It's very neutral, which just was so plain Jane of Patrick. I don't know, I expected, I guess I expected more. Cause like when he created his collaboration with Matt Cosmetics and he did like the four different seasons, like they were so pretty, they were so colorful. And then you get this, you're like, what the, what, what is this? Like it just, it just, no. It's a very, very boring palette. So unoriginal and you can find these shades in so many other palettes out there. So this is a palette that I thought was cool that I had, but I haven't really played with it ever since. Now I'm not gonna talk about any, like any celebs in this video. So you're not gonna see like Selena Gomez or Lady Gaga or, any, or like Fenty Beauty because those are like, those to me are not influencers, those are celebrities. So I'm just kind of excluding them off of here. I'm only talking about actual influencers who started here on YouTube and or Instagram. So yeah. Coming in at number 18, we do have the Carly Bible Palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, I would say that I do like this packaging. I know a lot of people out there couldn't stand the packaging on this. I actually thought it was kind of cute. I like the texture feel of it. And when you open it up, again, I was like, oh, this is a really cute palette. But then you open up the inside and it was just a very boring, plain Jane palette. Now, I did a review on this. For some reason, that review decided to get traction and people watched it and I got shit on for not knowing all my information. And you know what? That's my fault. I should have done my research thoroughly before redoing that video and I apparently said her name wrong. I was like Carly Bible, Carly Bibel. Like, I don't know what I had said, but I just didn't say Carly Bible. I was questioning myself. And then with the different names, people were like, you should know the names. I don't. Um, I don't really watch Carly Bible that often. Truthfully, I don't ever watch her. I do. I did watch a video where she talked about her dad passing, unfortunately, and I felt really bad about that. And I'm excited that she's pregnant because I do see that on you know social media. But I don't know. Just I never really watched her, and I should have done my research more before doing that video. So I do apologize for that. But as for the shadows and the formula, just this palette is just not exciting. It's a very bland palette personally to me. And I do feel like a lot of these shadows you guys can find in other palettes. I remember the shade right here, Mandela. I specifically talked about this shade being found in other ABH palettes and other palettes as a whole. And people are like, oh, bitch, how dare you? She created that by herself. Guys, there's only so much colors you guys can create for an eyeshadow palette. A lot of people are gonna tend to recreate or replicate other palettes. It is what it is. Like, I'm sure if I would ever create my own eyeshadow palette, it definitely probably won't be original. There'll probably be shades in there that are very similar to other shades out there that's already been created. It is what it is, you know? It's nothing to be offended by, but um, this palette just definitely wasn't for me. I did struggle a little bit with it, and I just remember not being that impressed with it. So, I mean, it's cool that I have it. I know a lot of people really, really wanted this palette, but yeah, just definitely, not one of my favorites from ABH. Coming in at number 17, we do have the Midas Cosmetics collaboration with Smokey Glow. So some of you guys might not know here, but she is a commentary channel here on YouTube and she has her very own eyeshadow palette. Now this got released last year, but because of COVID, there was a huge like 
wait time for this. Remember I bought it, I think like in like December, but I didn't get it until like February of this year. So it took like a couple months to come in because it was stuck overseas and that was no one's fault. But when you open this palette, I don't like how in the fact it's just ingredients. I kind of wish on the back that there was actually like information like the shades names or something or like, I don't know, a cute little note from Smoky Glow herself or Hannah herself. But the palette itself is still like really pretty. I do like the packaging. When you open on the inside, it's a nice, really pretty, pretty big size palette. She has her High Friends logo. And then you do have the shades right here. Now these shades to me were nothing wowing. See, that shade Leo and that shade Nutty are again very similar to the other shade that I just showed you in the ABH palette. But it's a really pretty palette. I did make a really pretty eye look with it. The shimmers blended out nicely. They were mattified. It just, it wasn't wowing. And I played with it a couple of times when I first got it, but I haven't touched it since. Um, yeah, not else more to say about it, but... I do a review on it. It wasn't bad, just definitely not one of my favorites. Coming in number 16, we do have the Amorese palette with ABH. Now, the highlighter that I have from Amorese, <laughs> the prettiest highlighter, I swear to God, I have two of them because I never wanted to lose it. But when you actually look at the palette itself, first off, the palette is just so pretty. I do love these sparkles on it. I did buy the PR kit, so it did come with a really nice mirror and a really nice, beautiful, like, case and when you open it up the colors are really pretty they are quite messy but i do remember my favorite shade in this palette was the shade barb right here like it is such a pretty pretty palette so when you swatch that color barb is such a beautiful shimmer it has green and pink gold reflex to it i love the i love this shift I, it's like almost like holographic it is so freaking beautiful and i really really love this shade it glided on beautifully so i really did enjoy this palette when i reviewed it i created some really beautiful shades i do remember saying though that i don't like the size of abh palettes and i still stand by that like the little shadows right there they're so tiny they make it so hard to create a really pretty look but uh, that is such a stunning look i love it so coming in at number 15 we do have the abh check it check it check it check it check it the Jackie Ina palette. Now, first off, I really do love the unicorn. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It has like a little snake-like skin effect, but like the little hierographic shift, oh, I live for it. And when you open up on the inside, again, very, very similar concept right here. Now, when I did a review on this, I got hate for reviewing it because apparently she's a problematic YouTuber here, influencer. Guys, I don't pay attention to the drama. Whatever she got herself into, I don't know. I don't pay attention to it. I just review the palette for what it is. But I remember really enjoying this palette because you can create a really beautiful like fall look with this palette. The shade right here, Zam, Zam, I might have said saying that wrong, is such a really pretty look. Purples are really beautiful. The shade sponsor and edges were so pretty. I thoroughly enjoyed playing with this palette. It was a lot of fun, very beautiful, perfect in time for the fall season. So I really do enjoy this palette. I don't know if Jackie Ina has anything else with any other brand this is the only thing that i have currently from her but it was such a pretty palette coming number 14 we do have the venice fling this is the bailey siren x estate palette now this was released inside ipsy so if you were an ipsy member you did receive this palette when you open up it has a really pretty like palm trees vibe which is really weird because when i view bailey siren i re I, I think of her as like a gothic gothic goddess chick and i know that's like i just think of her like as a gothic guard goddess it's the best way to put it because she always has like those candles burning she tells all like the makeup and mysteries she's the one that actually inspired me to tell stories here on youtube so i know people are like you don't give her credit i do every time i may not physically say the words when i'm doing the video but always in my description and in my pinned comment i'm always saying this is inspired because of bailey siren like i love how she tells horror stories or like makeup and mysteries which tells like these unsolved mysteries while she does her makeup it's very inspiring and i told stories about unsolved mysteries but mostly about ghost stories that i've experienced myself and things that i've witnessed and or have done my research for so i really do love her concept of it when you open it up it's a really like big size palette which i really do appreciate it's just i wanted it to be more for from her like i like i said i picture it has like i picture it has like a a gothic goddess or like the queen of mystery the halloween princess like i know that's not who she is but i'm just saying like that's how i view her as very very beautiful she's very gorgeous and does fantastic work so when i saw the color schemes on this i was like ah, just wasn't the biggest fan of it i heard wonderful things about this palette i've only played with it once mostly just the shimmer stage to try it out and swatch it i do love the pan sizes of it but i don't know unfortunately she has any more palettes out there this is the only one that i currently own and i was I received it because of Ipsy, so there's that. 
Okay, so this next influencer, I don't know if people even realize that she is an influencer. She started off on IG and she kind of built her brand around it. Um, I don't own anything else really from her brand. I know that she has multiple palettes out there. That's why I didn't put her in my last video because I don't own all those palettes. But we do have at coming in at number 13, Miss Huda Beauty herself. This is the Desert Dusk palette. Now there was the Net Retrograde palette. There was, there was a Mercury Retrograde palette, which is really pretty. There was the Nude palette, and then there's a Desert Dust palette. Now this is one of the first, first luxurious palettes I've ever bought for myself. I say luxurious because it's like a 60 something dollar palette. I was so like, I, I don't ever spend that money on myself. This is before I ever did YouTube. I really wanted to have something that was luxurious that I could really play around with. And so I bought this palette and I've taken such good care of it because of like, it being like my first like big purchase, you know? So the outside packaging is really beautiful. God, she's freaking stunning. I love her eyes. I love the theming of it. The, the unicorn on the inside, hello. <laughs> Aren't I gorgeous? Ah. Um, I wish. But when you look on the inside, ah, just the shadows are so, so pretty. Now I've only played with this once. I haven't touched it since because I'm so scared to mess it up. Granted, I could just buy a new one now if I really wanted to too, but I've taken such good care of this. This has traveled from my OG apartment that I had to the one that I live in now. And I moved in three different apartments. It's traveled through all three because I really just generally want to take really good care of it. And I really do enjoy it. So it's a really pretty palette. And I know that her brand is a fantastic brand. I know there are brands out there who do love to dupe her, but it's just such a pretty palette. My first luxurious palette I ever bought myself. I'm so proud of myself. I think I, I think this will be the one palette that like I don't ever, ever declutter because of like, what it meant to me, you know? So coming in at number 12 is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Thirsty Palette. Now you guys saw me talk about this palette in yesterday's video as it being my number one palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Again, I really do love the packaging of it. I thought this was been like a really cool palette because they had made it seem like it was no longer gonna be made. Like they took it off the shelves, they stopped selling it. Then they brought it back this, I think it was Halloween or Black Friday. I believe it was like one of the two they brought this palette back. So I don't know why they discontinued it and brought it back. But besides that, I really do enjoy this palette. It's so different from the rest of the ones that he has. It's very bright, very vibrant. I do, vibrant. It's very bright, very vibrant. I do love the mirror size in here. The mirror is just incredibly beautifully sized. And then when you look at the inside, it's just so pretty. It just screams summer to me, summer and spring. And I know that we're in the dead of winter right now, but here in Florida, we do enjoy like the sunshine all year round. So it's a really beautiful palette. I do love his big shades. His big shades are definitely where it's at. I feel like you get a lot of product for what you pay for. The shimmers are unbelievably beautiful. They blend so easily and so do the mattes. So it's just a very aesthetically pleasing palette. I created a really beautiful like rainbow eye look with this one time and I mixed this with blood, blood sugar so pretty to do and I just I really enjoy this palette out of all his palettes it's been one of my favorites would you think that I like other ones but this has been like my number one from him so yeah and surprisingly he's not the very top not because of any drama that he's in it's just I don't know I guess I prefer like other brands palettes over his and at number 11 we do have the Laura Lee nudie 2 palette subscribe to my channel before you leave subscribe okay so here we have the palette right here i really do like the unicorn because it's very cohesive it's very it's kind of planned but it's very beautiful to look at i have the same thing with this matches the outside packaging and when you open it up you do have these shadows here right themselves so i really do love her shadows i think they're really beautiful i was really blown away by this palette i think it's so aesthetically pleasing you can create so many looks using this palette and though it's a neutral palette I was like, bitch is about to turn me into a neutral whore when I'm a color whore. She's about to switch me up because of how gorgeous this palette is. You can dress up with this palette. You can dress down with this palette. You can create so many beautiful looks. And it really is a wonderful brand, one that I definitely want to try venturing in a lot more. I went and bought more liquid lips and the highlighter palette just because I really wanted to try this brand thoroughly because it really is an underrated brand in my personal opinion. And I was really blown away by the quality of this. So definitely had to put this in here because she has come off a long way from like 2018 to now and I really do enjoy her brand. And I love her videos. I love that she does 
no makeup videos anymore. I, I miss her makeup videos, but she's done more like lifestyle. She's inspired me in my own home to redecorate. And I just, I really do love Laura Lee. She's so cool and she's so sweet. Coming in at number 10, we do have Miss Kristen Dominique. This is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte 2 palette. Again, I talked about this in yesterday's video. I really do like Dominique Cosmetics brand. I may not watch her as an influencer that much anymore, but her brand is absolutely amazing. First off, I love the theming of the packaging. So cool. This is the second one to her original OG Latte palette. And then when you open it up, you do have the colors right here. Her pan sizes are really nice and big. Her shimmers are very, very beautiful. Her mattes are incredible. They blend so beautifully. And I can, you can create like a really beautiful pastel look with this, a really beautiful neutral eye look with this, a soft glam, a colorful glam with this. This palette is just so versatile to me personally. I really do love this shade right here, Frappe. Oh my God, I gotta swatch this for you guys. Like guys look how pretty this is i don't know how well that translates on camera but it was so pretty to work with it's a pink shimmer with like a neutral undertone to it and uh, it's just a really great sorry my dog my chair it's just a really great uh eyeshadow palette overall the shadows are just incredible i really had such a great time playing with this palette and this palette is something that i've gone back to time and time and time again and it only speaks volumes whenever i go back to like an influencer palette that often to show you how much i really do love it so this one was really hard to rank compared to the other ones but there are other ones i just i favored more coming in at number nine we do have our og our og influencer our og youtuber Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay right here. Now this launched this past year. I'm grateful that I do have my hands on it. The the design on it is a, it's a little funky. Like I understand that she was celebrating life and death, you know, cause she was very fearful of death after her brother had passed. And I completely get her concept and design. I do like how the palette does open it up like so. But then you actually like look at the color scheme. So you can create something like this or you can create something like this. It was a very unique palette in my opinion, but not a lot of people out there were definitely not a fans of it. I do love the really big size palettes, I, or the big size shadows. I think it's absolutely incredible how big they are. Um, she does have a new documentary coming out that I'm definitely so excited to watch, like her documentary and how she kind of like started her everyday life talking about her transition. I think she's just, it's just incredible. I love her, oh my God. I've tried following her tutorials <laughs> impossible to follow, but she's just truly incredible. But when we look at the overall color scheme, it may not be the most aesthetically pleasing to some people, but I really do enjoy it. Her shimmers had such a punch to it. I thoroughly enjoyed the shade all in, like, oh my God, it has like a green reflux to it. And if you guys know how much I love greens and golds, like, let me show you guys again. Just, oh God, look at how wet that looks. It is just so beautiful. It has that rose gold green undershift to it. Oh my God, it is just so beautiful. I love whenever you have a shadow that's like multi-dimensional and whenever you turn your head, it looks one way. When you turn your head the other way, it looks like another. I really do love shadows like this. And I had such a great time playing with this shadow. Very beautiful, very, very nice. And it just has a really overall aesthetically pleasing palette. In my personal opinion, I do love the shimmers and the mattes. So I definitely had to throw this in here. I can do without this color packaging. It isn't that pretty, but overall, her palette and her, her palette and her like shadows were really, really, oh my God, so nice. Okay, so coming in at number eight. Now this one was a little hard one for me because I don't necessarily know if I count this person as an influencer, but like I kind of do. So I was gonna put them in yesterday's video, but I decided not to. But we do have the ABH Norvina Collection Volume 3. Now she's the daughter to uh, the owner of ABH and I guess you can consider an influencer. She doesn't really have a channel, but when I asked my friend Mikey, you consider one, she, he did. So I'm just gonna throw this one in here. Um, this palette was $60. It's a very expensive palette, but you do get a lot of shades in here. So first off, I think the packaging is just so freaking cute. And then when you open it up, like such a really great palette. Now I may be a little biased because I do love the orange shades, but I do like how you have the numbering for it. Cause like some people don't always keep like the insert for the shades, but you can say, I'm creating a look with the shade B4. So people know, okay, B4, and they know exactly what to follow. It's really pretty, it's very vibrant. I know that Morphe had a palette very, very similar to this. I think like the 
3503 hot palette. I don't know. It's a very similar palette, but I really did enjoy this palette. I do love the oranges and the yellows in this. It just definitely isn't great in time for the fall season. Very beautiful. It's very, very professional. Like it's very like high grade. You can get amazing quality out of this and a little bit goes a long way. And this palette can definitely last you a very, very, very long time. And I really do love the theming behind that, behind like why they did the way they did. So I threw her in here because I guess at the end of the day, she kind of is an influencer. Like she was a judge on instant influencers, but I don't know. I, I, I thought it'd be cool to throw it in here. Okay, so now we're starting to narrow it down. And this is where it got really, really hard for me to narrow it down what I thought was the best influencer palette in my personal opinion. But here coming at number seven, we do have Miss Jaclyn Hill's Volume 2 palette. Now, I talked about this in yesterday's video about why I love this palette so much. I felt like on camera, it doesn't translate very, very well. On camera, it looks kind of dull, but in person, it's so bright and vibrant. Like I can't stress that enough, how bright and vibrant this is in person compared to on camera. And there's so many people out there who said it. I remember I had, when I went to launch, I bought a second one for one of my managers and she was unsure about it until she saw it in person. She's like, oh bitch. This is so pretty. I'm like, see, I told you. It just looks so different. The shimmers are beautiful. The mattes are beautiful. This is a perfect fall palette. It has a lot of neutrals in here so you can create an everyday look, but it has a lot of pops of color that you can use for the holidays, for the fall, for the summer if you wish to do so because of the lighter pinks in here. It's just a very overall beautifully executed palette. It's one of my favorite ones from Jaclyn Hill and I know it's by Morphe and a lot of people out there really do hate Morphe. I'm not the biggest fan of Morphe anymore so I completely understand but this palette does speak volumes for itself and I really want to know what Jaclyn's going to create for herself. Like I know that she had like a Valentine's Day capsule coming out next year. Oh, I'm excited but this is just a really pretty palette and it's one of my favorite favorite ones from Jaclyn Hill and it's a palette that I've definitely gone back to time and time again and created really beautiful looks with this off camera just because I really do enjoy this palette. Okay, so next coming in at number six, we do have the Me, Myself, and MMA Mitchell Pressed Pigment Palette by Beauty Bay. Now, if you guys don't know who MMA Mitchell is, he is a makeup artist based in the UK. He's worked with Jeffree Star and quite a few other bigger influencers out there, and he has his own brand now. I do have his newest palette, but I have not played with the palette. I will show you though. So this is his, this is one of his palettes from his personal brand. This is actually sent to me by Brooke. So thank you so much, Brooke. That meant so much to me. But here we have the palette right here. Now this was created by MMM Mitchell himself. The reason why I did not put that in today's video is because I just got this, so I haven't played around with it at all. So I can't tell you how the formula is, but I know how the one on Beauty Bay is. But when you look at this palette though, oh my God, it is just so freaking beautiful, so stunning. You guys know how much I love my green. So until I play around with it, I won't talk about it too much in this video, but I will play around with it and I will do a review for it for you guys. But oh my God, it's so pretty. But Back to the one that he created with Beauty Bay. Now, I was first introduced to Emma Mitchell's palette by Beauty Bay because of Mikey, actually. Uh, Mikey was one of the first people to ever, like, send me anything. And, um, oh, my God, I remember when he sent it to me, I was, like, really nervous. Like, who is this person sending me something? Like, oh, my gosh, I was so scared to, like, you know, give him my address at the time before I had a P.O. box. And I was, like... People were like, are you crazy? He can be a serial killer. He can come and kill you. And I was like, yeah, but now I have his address too. Like he used to send me videos. So I knew he was legit. And now we're actually really close friends. But um, he actually sent this palette to me. I did a look using this palette, actually recreating one of his own. Now what I really like about this palette is how like two-sided it is. So on one side, you do have like the really, really bright, colorful palettes right here, really deep, really big size pants. This is a perfect fall palette. The shimmers are incredible. The mattes are freaking beautiful. Like the shade mixer, oh my God, I love it so much. It's like this yellow shade right here with this orange. Oh, stunning. And on this side, you do have a deeper, darker color right here. This is more cool tone, but you have the darker blues, purples, and blacks in here. It's a really beautiful, kind of like a rainbow palette. Now, the only thing I didn't care for is the big mirror right here. It's supposed to be able to Sit, sit right here and you're supposed to have like had the palette be open it's supposed to like move like a book i to this day have not figured out the stupid magnetic properties of this to get it to work so i i always take the mirror out but this is such a fun palette to play with if you're ever looking for a great rainbow palette i highly recommend this for sure all right so coming in at number five we do have manny emmy ways 
or Luna Beauty's Strawberry Dream Palette. Now, I had talked about this palette yesterday. I love Lunar Beauty so much. I think this brand is so underrated. I think this brand is set on more often than not. This brand is truly incredible, and it's one of my favorite influencer brands out there currently. It is so amazing, the liquid lips and the lip glosses. If you guys have not played around with it, I'm not kidding. Get your hands on it because they're so worth it. And Manny, if you ever see this, for the love of God, please restock the Aphrodite Liquid Lip. I need more. Like, I need it. I'm almost out and I have only two more boxes left and I need my restock. But besides that, the packaging on this is just so beautiful. This is when he, this is when he really started to come up with like a cohesive a cohesive theme within his brand. I think that this is such a beautiful, beautiful palette. I can't get over how this makes me feel like I'm in the clouds, just either flying or like, you know, like flying in a plane or like flying out in the world. It's just, it's so beautiful, so sunset. When you actually open this up and you actually look at the palette itself, again, it is such a beautiful palette. I cannot get over it. I love how it has a really big size mirror. And then you do have the very colorful shades right here. Now Manny's definitely known for his neutral side for sure, but this is one of his most colorful palettes that he has. The shade right here, Blue Diamond. Guys, I can never get over enough at how beautiful Blue Diamond is. Like you guys have just got to see this. Like, bitch, look at that right here. That is a blue purple shift if I have not seen one myself. It is unbelievably beautiful. It can go with so many different shades in here. Now you do have to be mindful though that this shade does crumble like it definitely started to crumble a little bit in my palette i know that when paige did her reviews hers came actually broken and they sent her brand new one which is fantastic but ugh, this is just such a beautiful palette it has a little bit of a sweet smell too which I, I i appreciate but oh my god i love this palette so much and this was such a hard ranking for me because i love lunar beauty so much it's one of my favorite influencer brands and it's very hard for me to narrow it down in put him on number five when I really want to be number one, but there's just one that I just, I couldn't get over. Coming in at number four, and this might actually shock people if you guys watched me last year and this year, I've talked about how much I love this palette, but coming in number four, we do have the Tati Beauty Textured Neutral Palette Volume One. Now, I love how this was supposed to be like a little book, like you have it in your shelves and whatnot. And this came out last year and it's one of my favorite palettes for a very, very long time. Now, if you guys take a look at this palette, I have definitely used this palette so much. Now it's crazy because this is a neutral palette and you guys know how I feel about neutral palettes. I am not a fan of neutral palettes in the slightest. However, I have got to say that Tati Beauty has one of the best pressed glitter formulas I personally have experienced. I know there's quite a few people out there who do not like this palette for multiple reasons and that's completely okay. But for some reason, I think the pressed glitters just worked so well for me. It just goes on so nicely and it did stick to my finger this time, but I've never had any issues whenever I've actually applied this. It stays in place when I put it on my eye. It doesn't, it has a little bit of fallout, but it just worked so well for me. I didn't need any sort of glitter glue. Now I've hit pan on two of my shadows right here, but I do love this palette so much. I just really love the pressed glitter formula. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that she has a matte, a sequin, a metallic, and a glitter. You can do so much with this. You can mix and match, and it's just been such a fun palette for me to have. I actually have a second one as backup because I have been going through the press glitters a lot. These are the press glitters I go to more than anything else. What's really, really unfortunate is that this brand had so much promise, and I really thought that she was gonna release a volume two at some point, but she just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth. I think ever since the scandal with like Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star and like the lawsuit that she's facing, she just kind of like really disappeared and that just really sucks because I had really high hopes for this brand and like really loving it. I thought that maybe her volume two palette would have been like a very colorful palette and now it's just, she's just gone, just disappeared. So I'm like, no, where'd you go? I actually really do like Tati. I love her reviews. So hopefully one day she can come back and give us a volume two palette. Okay, so coming in at number three, we do have the Morphe X James Charles palette. Now, I know that he created a second palette with them, but it's like a miniature version. I never bought that because I already had the big size of it. I didn't feel the need to buy a second palette of the same one. But I have got to say, I thoroughly do enjoy this palette. Yes, is it massive? But this is like the perfect rainbow palette. It is 
so freaking incredible. And what I also like is that James Charles still uses his palette to this day, still advertises it to this day. But if I'm ever looking to do like a creative rainbow or just a very colorful look, I always go back to this palette time and time and time again. This is like my go-to palette. It's great for creating Halloween looks. It's great for creating uh, colorful looks, neutral looks, everything. Like this palette has all the colors that you can possibly need to create a really beautiful, colorful eye look. Like. I will never take that away from James. And I know that he's creating his own brand right now. So if he created this as Morphe, I'm really curious to see what he's gonna create with his own brand. But I, I really do love this palette. I was really hesitant to buy it back in the day, but I'm so freaking glad I have it. And this palette, well, I guess, was so hard to get. Only sold out, but I bought it when it first launched. I did, a, I think I did, oh God, I did a review on it. Ooh, that video was just, it's horrible. <laughs> I started to play with lashes, bitch. Don't ever watch that video. I should really delete all my old videos because they're embarrassing. But besides that, it's just, this is a fantastic palette and I will always, always go back to this palette time and time and time again. It's fantastic. Coming in at number two, we do have the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival 3 Palette Love Tahiti by Stacey Marie. Now she is a beautiful, beautiful makeup artist here on um, Instagram. And when I first saw this palette, I was like, I have got to get my hands on this. Like I know that these type of palettes sell out so quickly. The Carnival palettes, they are just quickly sold. They are quite expensive. I think I paid like 60 something bucks plus shipping and handling because it does come from the UK. But when you open this up, guys, this palette is intimidating, but it is just so gorgeous. Yes, this is very reminiscent to the James Charles Rainbow Palette, but you can create so many beautiful eye looks with this. I cannot stress that enough. The mattes are unbelievably gorgeous. The shimmers are so pretty. And like playing like the, the greens, the oranges, the purples, like this is like a perfect rainbow palette. And I had to put it in here because I can't get over it how amazing this palette is, how beautiful it is. It may not show well on camera, but the colors are so bright and vibrant. Like I couldn't get over this. This was my dream as a rainbow palette was this right here. I love this palette so freaking much, especially like this green and yellow side and like orange. Oh, it was just, it was just everything. I love this palette so much. And this is a palette that I probably will never end up tossing because it is just like the prettiest palette. And if you mix this with like James Charles, oh my God, you have like the ultimate rainbow palette. So definitely if they ever get this back in stock or they still have it, go check it out because it's completely worth it. All right, guys, coming in, I'm getting glitter all over my face. You guys see this? <laughs> okay, so coming in at number one, we should not be surprised by this because this is my favorite influencer of, of all time. Guys, I'm not putting this person at number one because they're my favorite influencer. I'm putting this at number one because it generally is one of my favorite, favorite palettes. And I, I may be just a little biased, but I love this influencer so much. She's had the best year of her entire life. She, not only does she just have a beautiful baby boy, she had two collaborations come out this year. She has a brand new house. She hit a million subscribers here on YouTube. And I am just so honored to watch her as a subscriber, to have communicated with her throughout the last couple of years. She is truly, truly incredible. What you guys see on camera is what you guys see off of camera. And um, she's someone that is definitely my idol. So coming in at number one for my favorite influencer palette of all time, we do have the Raw Beauty Christie collaboration with ColourPop. If you guys have been here on my channel at any point in time, you guys know how much I love ColourPop cosmetics so much. Not, not only is their formula Freaking incredible. The mattes are so pigmented. The shimmers are so pigmented. They blend beautifully. It is such an affordable brand. Like you bought, like this palette is just like, I think it's like 14, 15 bucks. I, I, mean, I bought the whole thing as a whole, but the brand itself is just so damn affordable. I love ColourPop so much. And I love Robbie Christie. When I saw this palette, I was like, if that doesn't scream, Robbie Christie, I don't know what else does because this is everything. She is so into nature, so into wilderness. She loves mushrooms, which by the way, I fall in love with mushrooms, not because of Robbie Christie, but because of HelloFresh. Like I've been making a lot of mushroom dishes because of HelloFresh and I'm like, hot damn, mushrooms are fantastic. No wonder why she loves them. But when you open up this palette, it's just everything. It truly is just everything. You can create so many different looks with this. I think my favorite side has to be from like this side on. So, so pretty. The shade Evergreen, ugh. I could not get over how beautiful this shade Evergreen was. And like West Coast down here, 
Oh my God, they were just so freaking beautiful. I love them so much. I love the looks that I created with this. This is like my go-to palette because I really do love the shade Santorelli, mixing it with like Fiddlehead, Evergreen, Puffball, West Coast, and Emerald City. Like this is like my go-to look all the time. You can create really beautiful halo eye looks with this, very beautiful colorful eye looks with this, very beautiful neutral eye looks with this. It is such an aesthetically pleasing palette. I know that so many people wanted to get their hands on this. It sold out so quickly. Getting this launch was such a hassle. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll go ahead and link it up here for you guys so you guys can watch it because it was such a hassle to get this damn palette. But it has been absolutely one of my favorites. I have played this palette multiple times like multiple times I have touched this palette ever since I got it and typically I don't do that and I feel like this one palette is gonna be a palette that I end up touching like um hitting pan and that scares the crap out of me because there's like no restocks on it so um yeah I don't I want to keep playing with it but I don't want to touch it too much because I don't want to hit pan I do have her other one it was really hard to compete this one versus her pure cosmetics but this one just tipped the cake for me this was my all-time favorite influencer palette and last year it was a uh, Tati palette now this year it is this and uh I think Robbie Chrissy has had such an incredible year so I cannot wait to see what 2021 hasn't has to hold for her so yeah, guys, that is me ranking all of my influencer palettes. Now, I know there's so many other influencers out there, so many other ones that have their own collaborations. I do not have every single influencer palette. I, I just don't, nor do I watch every single influencer out there. So I just, I wanted to rank everything that I personally had. And um, I just wanna say a huge congratulations to all these influencers who do have their own collaborations and their own brands. Like I think that is absolutely fantastic that they all are, did or have done exactly what I'm doing right now. They, they sat on camera, they started somewhere, they started at the bottom and they worked their way up to having their own brand. And I think that is such goals. They are my inspiration. And you know, none of us, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for these influencers that I just talked about today because they really have inspired me to create my own channel, to keep pushing through. I've gone back and I've watched so many of their older videos to see like how far they've come from where they started. And it's just so inspiring to me. And I hope to one day make my own palette or have my own collaboration that I could have someone ranking my palettes. I think that'd be such a cool thing, but I do want to congratulate each and every one of them for having their own products. I know how hard that is. And, uh, I thought this video was so much fun. So hopefully you guys stuck through the end. Hope you guys liked yesterday's video and today's video. I know it's very, very long winded. I have been talking for hours at this point and I created such a mess in this room. So I have a lot of cleaning up to do, but it kind of works out because I am going to be filming the best of and the worst of this year for my, before I wrap up this vlogmas and doing a declutter video and a makeup haul video. So just be, just be forewarned, you guys are going to have longer videos this week. And I think I might have a video up until Friday at this point, and then I'm going to take a little bit of a break, but, uh, yeah, this was so much fun. I haven't seen anybody else do ranking my influencer palettes video if they have i'm so sorry for not crediting them i just thought this would be so much fun to do like i i know some people out there do like ranking jeffree star or ranking glam light or ranking color pop palettes and i've never seen anybody do influencers so that'd be fun to try something different so um yeah guys hopefully you guys like this video if you guys did please give it a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already so i do post every single day here in the month of vlogmas please make sure you guys check up check out my other channel it's called r for life where you guys get to see my amazing adventures here in Florida with my wonderful fiance, Corey. And as always, guys, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all your love and support. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.